Hey everyone, welcome to the next video in my Vlogmas series. My name is Katie and I am a fourth year first grade teacher and I'm so glad you're here today. In today's video, I'm going to share five things that I have been loving in my classroom lately. Way back in the spring, I did a video with my five classroom must-haves, so if you haven't checked that out, I will link it above in the card so you can go see those five must-haves. Today I tried to pick five different items that I've been using frequently and have found that I love in my classroom to share with you guys. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing I've been loving in my classroom are poppets. I know that sounds crazy because they can be quite a huge distraction, but I've been using them to do an activity in my small groups with phonemic awareness and practicing breaking down the phonemes that we hear in words. I shared this in a reel over on my Instagram, so if you don't follow me on Instagram, definitely go check it out and you can see step by step how to use this activity. But my amazing reading coach made this template right here that I put in a, uh, what is this, a dry erase sleeve. And all we do is we say a CVC word and then the kids pop the sounds they hear in the word, like dog, d-og, dog. And then we go over to our chart, they circle the three bubbles right here and write the phonemes d-og, d-o-g, and then write it on their word over here on the line. It's been a great activity to practice CVC words and the kids are always excited when I pull the poppets out. The next thing my students have been really excited about are these little reading strips that you can get from the Dollar Tree. I pulled these out this week for centers for the first time. I have some little decodable text in a book and I'm letting them use them to read the text and also to search for CBC words in the text. All they do is they take the little magnifier that's got like a color laminate over it and they put it over the line that they're reading and I told them it helps them focus their brain on the words that they need to read and also makes it a little bit more fun to follow along in the story. Each of these was only a dollar from the Dollar Tree and they have so many different patterns and types so it would be perfect for you to get to keep in your classroom library, to use at your guided reading table, or even if you needed it for student gifts or to send home with them so they can use it to read at home. The next item that I've really been loving are these huge bins from Target. I shared these in a classroom haul way back in the summer. I have so many of these. I think I have like 10 of them, but they are the perfect size and shape for sharing manipulatives at the table. I always have them full with counters or with cubes. That way during math, I can just take the bucket and place it out on the table for my students to use. As you can see, I've got our work mats in here. And then here's an example of a bucket that just has the counters in it. The reason I like these buckets the most is because they are flat, so students aren't having to reach and pull to see what's inside the bucket. So when they're sharing, it makes it a lot easier for them to see what's inside and reach it from their spot. I also love to use these anytime we're doing crafts that require markers or stickers or something that they need to share. So I'll empty out the manipulatives and swap it for some craft supplies. That way they have it within reach and it's easy for them to grab and share with their friends. The next one I've already mentioned briefly and that would be these dry erase sleeves. I have a lot of these as well, probably like 30 of them, but I use them for all of our math games. So you can see I have a roll and subtract game in here. And then I also obviously use them at the teacher table for activities in reading small group. It has really eliminated the number of copies that I've had to make this year, which is fantastic. And in the past, when I give them this recording sheet for math games, there is a little bit of accountability because they have to turn something in, but it was getting a little overwhelming having them turning in a math recording sheet every single day. And sometimes they don't finish it, so we were just wasting paper because they'd only get one column done and then they'd have the rest of it left. So this has been really nice to help me reduce copies, but I also do walk around and make sure that my students are on task when they're playing games with these. And the last thing that I have been loving in my classroom are my foam dice and my dice backyards. This is another thing I shared in a reel on Instagram, but this is my solution for keeping the dice when we play games in one spot and keeping it quiet while my students are all playing a game at the same time. All I did was take a plastic basket from the Dollar Tree. These came three for a dollar and a piece of felt. And I cut out the felt and glued it at the bottom. And we call this our dice backyard. Just like a pet or a dog, you wanna make sure you keep your pet in the backyard so it doesn't get lost. So I teach them to keep their dice in the backyard. They roll it in there and then they look and see what they got. With the foam dice, this is amazing because it really does reduce noise. The foam dice are so quiet, it's awesome. So if you have these, awesome. If not, and you're just using regular dot dice or number cubes, those plastic dice are also a lot quieter because of the felt at the bottom. 
I also think it just helps students manage and not have the dice flying all around the room. And we do a lot of math games and a lot of rolling and reading. And so this is such a nice tool to have. So that was about five, maybe six, I might have said six things that I have been loving in my classroom lately. I hope you got a good idea for your classroom for something that you can use. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next vlog.